might have lied. <laughs> Big mama. Okay, here we go. Boom. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Top 5 on the People's Podcast this evening. We have two amazing panelists with us to, to discuss our amazing, uh, our amazing uh, topics today. Today we're dealing with Top 5 Dance Songs of the 2000s. Un movies with unrealistic endings and top five TV sitcom dads. Oh, all right, God. first of all, before we get started, Sister Rakia, can you say what's up to everybody? Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. What's up? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the People's Podcast on YouTube and hit that notification bell button okay, so that great. you don't miss any amazing episodes. Excellent. And Yahweh? What's going on, everybody? Uh, yeah, I've been celebrating all night uh, with the the Georgia Bulldogs. He was a oh, fan no. before before it was popular. The whole state of Georgia fans. is currently hungover right now. Nice <laughs> <laughs> party. He he was a fan before it was cool to be a fan. Uh, exactly. Georgia Bulldogs. One, somebody somebody I played um, YMCA basketball with <laughs> went uh, went to Georgia. Which is the most great. He was the first person I've ever talked about. It. I was like, That's <laughs> I, know, I know your boy who went to your best friend who went to um, Tech. I know he's sick. Oh yeah, yeah, you already know, you already know. Okay, some Mariah says some like him. Uh, Naima says peace, family. Hey, husband. Thank you, Naima. So Khadija says some like him. Says Khadija, way, hey, so like, so we haven't seen Sister Khadija about three months. All right, here we go. So, <laughs> Welcome back, Sister Khadija. Okay, here we go. All right, so the first thing we're dealing with is the top five um dance songs of the two thousands. We're going with you, Sister Rakia. All right, so at number five, I have 2006 Chicken Noodle Soup by the by Web by Webstar. Oh damn, I forgot all about chicken. Okay, chicken. okay, chicken okay. Soup went hard, right? <laughs> so, New York ain't gonna get no love on my list because I definitely <laughs> forgot about it. Ooh. No worries. Okay. I, 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 Aisha says, "Hey, family," oh, and yeah. Sophia says, "Frame game." She's talking about your. I mean, Sister Mariah's talking about your friends. Okay, boom. Aisha, you late, woman, with no excuse. All right, here we go. Yahweh, what you got? Number five. Number five, I got Sierra with goodies. Not mm. the biggest Sierra fan, but I, I can't I can't take it from her. She she had all the dance songs in the 2000s. So Sierra. That's because she couldn't good. sing. All she could so do couldn't was sing. Dance. That, now, now that's, right. that's the truth right there. <laughs> she couldn't sing. Okay, Sierra, so good. And everybody, please let us know your list. I can't wait to put this on YouTube. Hold on one second. I have to, uh, you know, everybody who sees me do music to my ear, sometimes you gotta play some music just so people can understand the fullness of the dance oh, songs. There you, go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm just saying, I can't sing all these dance songs. So I just wanna play uh, my number five for everybody because everybody might, you know, forget some of the, the 2000 songs. <laughs> all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go. I'm just saying, all the way turned up. Y'all already know what it is. Roscoe Dash, Soldier Boy remix. Boom. Nah, that song was hard. That song was hard. I get it. Too. All right, what happened to Roscoe Dash, man? Don't get me started. <laughs> I'm for real. Like I heard that he was like he, he was a um, Uber driver at one point. And then, like, he tried to start doing like his greatest hits and all this. Okay. But boy, you only had three of them. How are you gonna do the greatest hits of three songs? He gotta go on tour. He gotta open up. Get on the new from 2000 to what? Okay. <laughs> what you gonna go on tour with? He gotta. He gotta. He gotta do. Chingy. Ching, Chingy. Ching, Chingy was uh opening uh, up on no tour. Jack of Fat Chingy. <laughs> no. 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 Roscoe. Man, Chingy and Roscoe Dash got the same amount. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Roscoe Dash. <laughs> so, so, Shout out so, to Roscoe, Roscoe Dash. He might be on the People's Podcast real soon. <laughs> What's he going to tweet, man? Which one? Oh, he might, he might just happen to be this one. Just walking one. around on social media. <laughs> <laughs> he might have to be trolling in my car. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Rabia Rob, says swag surfing. Maybe that's a good one. Boom. Uh, uh, Rabia, say what's up to everybody before you just come on here just, uh, just yelling out your answers. All right, let's go. Uh, Sister Rakia's um, acting like she's good to today with the children. Uh, Listen, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can make candy cake. I see. Okay, oh, my number four. I'm sorry. 
2008 single ladies by Beyonce. Uh, it's kind of low. Okay, single ladies. Not too low. Uh, I used to dress on my list too. Uh, with the belly and um, we're being some peace families and rice today. Single ladies, probably at every wedding since it came out, every every reception, everybody, all the sisters, you know, single ladies and the fingers and <laughs> yelling at me, looking at me. I'm like, I didn't even, I'm not even y'all date. Why y'all mad that I'm not like, what's going on? Like, why are you directing the single lady energy to me? Put your other army. And since Khadija said the babies are wonderful, brother Joshua. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. The babies are wonderful. Shout out to all the babies. All right. Yahweh, what you got? Number four. All right, number four, I got a real regional song for y'all last. One time, uh, Whoop Rico. If anybody trying okay. to okay. Hey, 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 what was it? What was it? I'm not far from it, Atlanta. What, what are you saying? Is oh, that the name? No, that's 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 just one song. It was just one song called Will Rico. Will Rico, oh, and that, no. that that dance went crazy. Beyonce did it when um yeah. Man, what what was that? What was that that she did it to? Was it that um when she did like that little halftime, not a halftime performance, but when she was doing like her black college band thing, like. That Coachella thing. Like no, that, I didn't know that she did with Rico. I didn't know that. It was Will Rico, that whole thing. No, I didn't know that. Ash, Josh, will tell you. Rico didn't stand a chance. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, boom. All right, so my, and thank everybody who's letting us know their list. In the comments, thank everybody who's watching. All right, listen, so we got Whoop Rico, uh, some Rikia Single Ladies, my number four. For everybody, speaking of regional, but it went national. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> Oh, this is just nasty sex. This is Jay Hobo Freak Fest. <laughs> I'm just saying, everybody was saying whisper. I'm just Josh, saying, come on. <laughs> Josh, what, kind of, what kind of dances were going on? What kind of dances you was doing to that, Josh? <laughs> so what yeah, yeah Chris wasn't that, that like that wasn't brother. like that wasn't the main one. <laughs> Listen, whispers, like come on. Whisper, like, yeah, that was whisper. You was whispering, all right. Oh, <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, we're waiting on Sister, Sister Rakia's uh, auntie mode today. All right, so Sister, as as she as her as her nieces call her TT Rakia, what you got number three? <laughs> Childish. Trying to find the unmute button. What I got for number three? Yes, ma'am. Run back here to my list. Oh snap! Where is my list? I lost my list. I lost my list. Okay, waiting on Sister Rakia. Okay, waiting on TT. Thanks. Oh, here we go. All right, so my number three is a tie. I'm sorry, y'all. It's 2009's oh, You're a Jerk right. by the New Boys and 2010 um, The Dougie by the, mm. what are they call Oh, Cali, you sleep with Cali Dougie. Swag. Cali Swag. Swag. Mm. It's a smooth. Boy, can you teach me how to Dougie? Mm. No way. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh, because, like, <laughs> got the only dance I can do, boy. Listen, I forgot all about the Dougie. Hey. That's when my way. That's when I had my ways. Three sixty for your. Yeah, three sixty. Oh, I had the three sixties popping. Yeah, do rag and everything. Do rag and everything. Money do rag. Not, not the money do rag. I had the money do rag. That's know. how you make your money do rag. The dead, the dead presidents do rag for sure. Let the dead presidents on there. All right. Um, that's uh, so the key is that's number number three. All right, Yahweh, what's your number three? Number three, I got single ladies. Hmm. Yeah, I say. I mean. It's Beyonce. You can't really go wrong with it. Absolutely. And everybody, uh, once again, all the weddings, the receptions, it just became a thing. Justin Timberlake doing it on Saturday Night Live. Everybody trying to do spoofs of it. It just became a thing. My sister just came and picked up my nieces, by the way, so okay, I'm okay. out of auntie mode. <laughs> all right, well, listen, well, guess what mode we in for my number three? Let's get into oh. it. <laughs> Yeah, Josh, Josh was hanging <laughs> Thank y'all. Nelly Hot in here, number three. Go on. <laughs> Josh was hanging with them scribbles. <laughs> Is that what you got from that? Nelly, like, like, everybody that's like, like that. Like, as soon as you play a whisper, that's all I need to hear. Uh, <laughs> Sister Khadija, you don't think I had the ways? I'll, I'll post the pictures now. I got the, I had the ways now. <laughs> Three, six, I'm talking about I brush my hair all the time. Smooth hair. All the time, like Chicago, man. What you, you know what I mean? You already know what it was. Just, just brush. 
Uh, that boy was brushing. Uh, Chicago was brushing the sides. He had no hair on his side. <laughs> Rabia said, home team Nelly. Naima said Nelly. And she was saying she was waiting for uh, Nelly. Uh, definitely number one. Uh, Oh, okay, so Khadija, I'm surprised you didn't say DMX, uh, some DMX on random. I just know you was gonna put DMX in there. DMX slipping. <laughs> no kind of dance, yeah. you know, doing the slipping, but. Exactly. Uh, Mimi said I had the waves, and she said my list was good this week. Oh, oh I'm glad one uh, for one week I, you approved my list, Mimi. Thank y'all for that. All right, number two, what you got since Rakia? I have 2007 Crank That by Soldier Boy. That's for sure. That's for sure. That's for sure on the list now. Everybody, you talking about you talking about the whole world. You talking about the whole world. Not being Draco. Yeah, I mean everybody. I mean everybody. <laughs> I, I I don't want to do the dance wrong. Everybody be like, you know, but yeah, yeah you go get it, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, once again, I'm not to be mocked. All right, let's go, Yahweh. What you got for number two? Number two, I have "Run It" by Chris Brown. Mm. Okay. I mean, Chris Brown made it cool for dudes to dance again. <laughs> before that, before that, all we was doing was like crank dance and stuff like that. Now, yeah, yeah. Chris Brown made it cool for people to dance. Um, everybody showing love to Sister um, uh, Rakia saying that's an excellent song. Number two, boom! Shout, shout out to Yali for this. I mean, for his uh, number, uh, his number two with Chris Brown. Right? Oh, hey, the comments don't like my number two. Okay, no, no, no. It ain't. It, it, it's a delay. It's a delay. It's a delay. See ya. See ya. It's a delay. Okay. But well, speaking of Yahweh's favorite um, uh, music, oh, here we go. My number two it makes me think about 2000s. Young Rich Nigga. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the Migos! <laughs> the Migos! Oh, I came in this club with you. <laughs> okay, Josh. <laughs> the Migos! Everybody would act like the Migos didn't have a, a big run, a great run, way before they got like popular, popular. I was on the Migos. Boom. Yeah, shout out to Quavius, man. Mick Quavo. Yeah. Now, now everybody's the Georgia Bulldogs. Y'all just best friends now. So here we go. <laughs> best friends, man. All right. Uh, that was a dance song. So, so people don't dance to the Migos? <laughs> they dance. <laughs> Certain people do the Migos, dance. Uh, dance the Migos, absolutely, they're dancing. Oh, man. What song by the Migos are you talking about? Um, this is dancer no more. I mean, sister no more. She don't want to be a queen no more. Something like that. I don't know, but it's like like she don't, oh, don't want to be a queen no more. She don't want to be a queen no more. All right, number one. All right, listen, my number one. My number one is amazing, by the way, too. But all right, so, and Rabia and them are just having a good time. Like, all right, since so Rakia, what you got? Number one. Uh, number dance one. Song I, the 2000s. Number one. I have two thousands cha cha slide by DJ Casper. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I forgot about that can't, one. <laughs> can't argue that one. I forgot about it. Listen, and she's in tune with Naima. Naima said, honorable mention Cupid Slide. Listen, all the sisters love sliding. The the Cupid Slide, Cha Cha Slide, Cha Cha Slide too. The remix Cha Cha Slide. Whatever. You know, there's a lot of slides going on. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, Aisha, I ain't think about in the club. Dang. 50 Cent in the club. So Aisha said number one in the club. Are these really dance songs? Dun, dun. I mean, everybody. Dun, dun. Like he hey. coming with a routine to end the club. Y'all <laughs> in the club. I'm thinking y'all talking about Lil John and Usher and Luda. Exactly, that, that's exactly, exactly. Friends. Okay, that's not in the club. Uh, all right, I'm Mike, Never Mike mind. Mike, he's saying all the sisters love sliding. I mean, what is going? On? Yes. Come I don't on. know how to do any of them besides the electric slide. Listen, if you were in Chicago, they had to not do that. One. They had, a, they, had a, they had a slide called the juke slide in Chicago. Yeah, they got a slide. They slide all right in Chicago. They slide in Chicago. I'm just saying, they do your slide called the juke slide, too. They slide now. Uh, and Aisha said the two-step, Jamal. All right. Y- Yahweh, what you got? Number two. I mean, number one. Number one, I got a tie because I just thought about one. And okay. hey, we've we, we, we been doing top 20s this whole for like an old time. So <laughs> I might as well throw a tie in there. But I got Yeah by Usher. And it's tied with the um, Cupid Shuffle. Because everybody knows the Cupid Shuffle. Down, down, do your dance. There you go. Get it, Josh. There, there it is. Hey, <laughs> hey, man. Sister Ricky, you should have seen Josh at my wedding doing the Cupid Shuffle, boy. No, Josh, you're doing the Cupid Shuffle. That's what Ricky that you know. I, I can't, I can't, I don't do that, all that dancing. Getting it. Know. I mean, getting out. Don't listen to him. Don't let him lie to you. You already it. know that. I, that's not even how I'm built. I'm not even built to dance in public. You can if tell. I'm not, if I'm not doing a play, the dance moves, you can tell he's a Chris Brown, Bobby Brown. Uh, but he, yeah, yeah, he yeah, channeled yeah. enter all of them. 
Only, the bar house. He only, did. only on stage. Only on stage. <laughs> that, that All right, but for number one, y'all already know what time it is. My number one dance song. Speaking of wedding songs, the song that everybody should play. That's all. Here we go. I'm gonna say, this P popping. Oh, it's kind of like you gotta turn it up. Oh man, yeah, that's a good one. Hey, hey, I ain't even gonna lie to you. HBCUs, as a person that went to HBCU, they ruined that song for me. I don't even like that song. And everybody, oh, that's what I was Thank you, Howard, for bringing swag sir back. That's one thing y'all could have not did. Yeah. Uh... Okay, good. And everybody's letting me know their list. All right, so we got Swag Surf, and then boom. Shout out to everybody in the comments. Shout out to Rikia. Shout out to Yahweh. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> and I used to say that Josh is trapping. I mean, what, what is going on? Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> Guys, if I had when Josh was hurt. That's, I mean, thanks, because you already know what's going on. Boom. All right, let's go. Top five movie endings, un- unrealistic movie endings. I look forward to seeing everybody's list. I'm going with yeah, hard. Yahweh. What you got? Number five. Um, number five, I'm gonna go with love and basketball. Because mm, that's a know, great one. That's a we great know one. good and well that after he dumped on her and she just walked away, he would just let her walk for Tyra Banks. He would just let he would just let her go. That's a great one. That's a great <laughs> and one. she probably would and she wasn't good enough to make it to the WNBA. Let's be honest. She probably <laughs> was she barely was good enough to make it overseas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say so. I don't know, whatever. Love and basketball. That's a good one, y'all. I ain't think about love and basketball. All right, so the Rakia, what you got? Number five. Oh, and number five, I have 2004's The Saw and any of its sequels. When it comes to movies, I'm not a fan of cliffhangers. You can do that with TV series because, you know, you mm-hmm. see what's happening the next week. But it just bothered me that I, I hated the way it ended and you had to wait like a year and a half to see the next sequel. That bothered me. So The Saw and all of its sequels. Number five, horrible, unrealistic endings. Okay, Sister Rakia, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up on Saw, but I, I, we know uh, Sister Rakia in the real. She's gonna keep us up. Nobody on Nobody wouldn't have made. Nobody wouldn't have made it out of Saw alive. Like after the first. That's hard. Right. Right. Like, the torture that they were going through. Nobody would have made it out. And then it had it was self inflicted torture at that. Exactly. They had no, to no, torture no, themselves. I've never seen it before, so I don't know what's going on. All right, um, Mimi said, "Love and basketball." Yes, he played her in college. She would have never let him come back to his life. Well, I, I think she kind of played him when when she left him when he was. She played. She played herself when she thought that she could. <laughs> her for her heart. Uh, Naima said, on. "Last holiday, knowing that Sean wasn't going to come save Georgia Burr. Naima, you will find any excuse to say last holiday in every list. Uh, yes, this movie. Um, the saw. Uh, Khadija said the saw that was a mess and you find a way to try to mention them. Okay, boom. And then she agrees the movies were insane and never saw saw. And she had a curfew. No, 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 I mean, Mimi, me, me, please. That was the saddest day of her life. I mean, saddest day of his life. She had to stand up. All right, my number five, put your dukes up, Craig. Put your dukes up. I'm going Friday. <laughs> going Friday. You know, that was on my list and I stretched it off. Friday. That was a Debo would have choked his ass up. <laughs> Ice Cube was not beating Debo up. There's no way. You can have all the Fridays for real, for real. <laughs> Debo and all of its sequels. <laughs> yeah, Debo was just there's no way. And, and if anything, Ice Cube would have picked up a brick. They would have they would have had to shoot him. They would have had to be violent. Yeah. There's no way you're gonna beat Debo up one on one and Chris Tucker ain't jump in. And no, no, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, that's true. And Mimi says I hate. Friday. I love Friday. You know, Mimi, I didn't get credit for that. Put your dukes up, Craig. Like that's a good uh, boom right there. Like put your dukes up, Craig. Like that was a good. One. All right, number four. <laughs> bang 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 bang. <laughs> Oh, so speaking of that, uh, since the Khadija, you're not off the hook. Last week, we go. I'm, I'm posting that clip of you talking about bang, 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 uh, <laughs> for sure, or her talking about bed up. We definitely use her Philly Jersey slang. Um, all right, let's go. Number four, what you got, Yahweh? Uh, number four, I got Baby Boy. Like now, we know that mm. at the end of Baby Boy, he ended up killing Snoop Dogg. You don't think that all his homies gonna come back and hit you oh, yeah, like yeah. at all? And I mean, he just had a lovely day. Out. His life just was peaches and cream afterwards. That like, ended with him at a picnic at the park. And it was a picnic, man. Yeah. And for real, for real, the rolling twenties would have shot that picnic up if it, if it was really, if there was really right. nothing to like. But 
I didn't think about, I didn't think about baby boy. That's okay. That's a fact. Okay, I see y'all keeping a little, uh, keeping it urban and with. I'm um, keeping it real like, urban with my list because all of them endings ain't, <laughs> ain't real. Listen, y'all not, people are watching, but y'all gotta tell us y'all list. What y'all got for number four? All right, let's go, Sister Rakia. Number four, I have 2000s Pay It Forward. It's a really wonderful movie about this kid that comes up with the idea of paying kindness for it to make the world a better place. The reason why the movie was such an unrealistic ending is because the kid died in the end. Like, what the heck? Like, how does he, how does a kid that comes up with such a wonderful, lovable, peaceful, and. Oh, so that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, dude just died. You know, growing up, dude was always that super nice kid. After the birth, you found out he got shot or something. You know, oh, right. I like him. I, 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 never <laughs> saw school. I never heard of that. What's, who's in Pay Forces Forces, kid? I never heard of him. That sounds like The little that. boy from um, the Sixth Sense Veteran family. Okay, okay, yeah. doing that. Yeah. He played I thought you were going to say the little boy from Alicia. Ha ha. Okay, <laughs> no, now, now I know um, how, uh, Haley Jane Osmond. Right? That's the name, right? Yep, one of them. Oh. Isn't that the boy from the Sixth Sense? That's his name, right? I don't know. I just call him the boy from the Sixth Sense. It yeah. might be. <laughs> I, 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 think that's, I think that's his name. I think that's his name. I think that's his name. Little bro from the Sixth Sense. Yeah, okay. I know you're talking about. All right, let's go. Number four. Um, you don't know now, but you gonna find out. You got served. Oh, yeah, yeah you that's got <laughs> I love that movie. I love you guys, sir. But it's definitely unrealistic. Like, what are we talking about? Like, after little, after little Saint, um, nobody's come back to do it for Little Saint. No, the whole, the whole, <laughs> whole hood would have just been devastated. <laughs> little Saint was such a pillar in the community that everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's hey, come little back Saint, to Little Saint. Little Saint died a martyr, bro. He died a martyr. Uh, God, no. Look at everybody roasting. Thank you, Sister Marie. Sister Marie, the only one not roasting me. They were roasting me because I know that his name was Haley Josh. Like, y'all mad because I know the boy's name? Yeah. Uh, Look at Josh knowing stuff. <laughs> exactly. Like, <laughs> Rabia, like, only you would know that. Me, like, only you would know that. Naeem, but that's not, that's low, Naeem. That's my number one. And then Naeem said, don't come for you guys serve. Exactly. Now, you coming for you coming for a classic, but you tell me not to come for you guys serve. All right. Number three. What do you have, Yahweh? All right. So, number three, a lot of people... People have seen this movie, but you know, a lot of people forget about it. But the Six Man, like, have you ever <laughs> seen Six Man <laughs> with Marlon like, Wayne? Have you ever seen Six Man in the ending? Like, come on! First and foremost, the whole premise of the movie, nah. <laughs> like, that, that, a ghost that, that plays basketball. We know Marlon would have missed that shot. Marlon would have missed right. that shot. Marlon probably got blocked. I've so, only seen it one time, Yahweh. I don't know what. I don't know how it ended. I just know I he just shot know. the ball. He told. He told. Um, he told Dwayne Wayne, no, don't st- don't touch the ball. Let me shoot on my own. He made the shot. We know mm-hmm. good damn well. Did y'all see his basketball skills in uh, above the rim? <laughs> he couldn't even make Birdie's team, but he all of a sudden he at Washington playing for the Huskies. Okay, so I get it. Uh, so, okay, that's a good one, y'all. I, I'm, I, haven't, I haven't seen it since like I was a child. Uh, I'm so Brian the movie. said. Lil Kim was in. You guys served for five minutes and got on her nerves. Thank you, Sister Ryan, for just randomly hating on Lil Kim. Damn, I'm about to say Lil Kim didn't even do that to you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, Sister Kim, what you got? Number three. So number three is a movie that you may not have seen, but I do recommend it. It's a horror movie called The Mist. It came out in 2007. And The Mist is just what it is, a mist that um kind of appears and, and clouds people's judgment. It's a scary movie. The Mist is like haunted. Anyway, mm. the ending is horrible because the guy kills the whole family, but he ends up getting saved in the end. And I'm like, what the hell? Mm. So I, I thought that was messed up. Okay, so may, I, okay. Ask, may I ask what ethnicity these people were in this movie? <laughs> they were YT people. <laughs> you said they were what? They were white people? Yeah, YT people. Yep, yes. Yes. Okay. So since we, yeah. since we, uh, uh, Rakia likes a hundred movies, apparently, because I'm just like, I can't, there's no way. That's not my genre at all. I don't even play with that. All right, listen. My number three, love don't cost a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> never... man. Talk about it, Josh. Preach on it. With love Christina Aguilera, Christina Milian. Yeah, Christina yeah. Milian. If you, if you think for one second that she's going to talk to the nerdy Nick Cannon, not the one after he got the game from Steve Harvey, you know, teaching him all the rules. If y'all think that she won't, she really wants to nerd Nick Cannon, it's like the cool Nick Cannon, I mean, what are we talking about right now? What's going on? I mean, uh, which one was the cool Nick Cannon? <laughs> Nerd Nick Cannon, the cool Nick Cannon, was neck and neck, low key. 
Like right, they're both the same. Like watching it, same. watching it, some of the stuff he was saying was so was so cringy. Um. Naima said Josh loves the trash movies. Uh, they, I mean, my goodness. And then Naima said The Mist was terrible, the whole movie, and that movie was trash. Naima says, Rabia wants to throw my list, a whole, Rabia, what my list to you? You ain't gonna throw the whole list away. And then Naima said, Naima said, that's a good one, Josh. I'm just saying, it was unrealistic. Love don't cost a thing. Boom. All right, number two. Let's go with Yahweh. Best man. The first one. Absolutely. I, I, I didn't think that, but that's absolutely yeah. best, best yeah. man. Super that's, that's, unrealistic. That's a great one. Now we That's know good and well that that wasn't when that happened. As soon as that book dropped, so was that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it was and so we weird. also know that somebody would have said something to his wife. Like they said, yeah, nothing been to her. Just with, and we also, just and we also know that, that, that Morris Chestnut would have threw Tay Diggs' ass off that. Off that oh, he going on the roof. Night. He going on the roof. Hey, somebody just showed up. Who is this? This is this is Salima. She took she took Marvin place tonight, but she's late. As oh, girl, you like fifteen? You you like fifteen thirty minutes late? I'm you might sorry. Watch the show. I'll... Listen, I was trying to keep my word. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here. That's well, all that matters. Go back you know listen, saying? jump in with number two. What's your number two? Number uh, two what? <laughs> Mimi said, "Pray with my brother. Pray with me, brother." Mimi loves the best man, by the way. And Naima <laughs> says, "How Stella got her groove? Me, How Stella got her groove back?" Uh, Winston didn't want to marry Stella. It was oh, I got an honorable man. mention, Josh. I got an honorable mention, and that's um, Soul Food. Come on, or, or everybody come back together. Everybody come back together. It would have been over with. <laughs> so after, been after, over after, with. After, after they jumped Makai Pfeiffer, that, that definitely like, after they beat with. up Lim, it would have been done with. Mimi says, "Hey, Salima." Okay, thank you. They didn't know that all that money was in the TV. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I forgot about the money in the TV thing. Uh, yeah. All right, so Salima. Uh, run, run it down yes. real quick. Uh, five, give us five, four, three on um, on unrealistic movie endings. Unrealistic movie endings. Five, four, three. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me pull up my list real quick because I ain't write down it. Too time, late. So. Gosh, and late. Uncle Fitz. Listen. This don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Okay. So the first one I have is the proposal. Right. The proposal. You know, of course. That was so unrealistic. They were talking about how they was going to get married. She lied. Well, she lied about an engagement. She didn't go to jail for it because, you know, she was over. She was in post. She had, they have her green card or something like that. So she wasn't supposed to be over here or whatever. So they lied about an engagement. She didn't go to jail for that. And then they ended up still getting married. I'm all like, technically, that didn't make sense. But we'll go with it. But I'm I like, like it's still proposal. unrealistic. I like the proposal. It's unrealistic. It is a, I do like it, but it is unrealistic, though. Like, I do like that movie. <laughs> and my number... Four was okay. Um, Wolverine, Wolverine, when he had his uh, <laughs> what? I mean, I don't want to hear you explain how that whole really is. Is. Wolverine, <laughs> his with his brother, his brother was evil. His brother was like he hated him the whole movie. And then at yeah, the last minute, like, oh, not, not the fact that he had metal shooting out his head. The fact. <laughs> <laughs> but that is not because it's a, it's a super. You can't do that. You can't. You can't make that part unrealistic. I mean, unrealistic for the simple fact that it's a superhero type of movie. So you can't say that. But I'm talking about the fact that, like, I hate when they do that in movies when they have like the bad person turn good. Like all just all of all of a sudden, I'm like, then it became cool. Like I could see people like, I right, bro, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, I save your life. But then they became like they just was ace boom boom from the get go. Like no, that was not the case. Okay, Stop so you, you don't you don't like to see unity with Saber Two and Wolverine. Got it. All right, number three. Okay, number three is Coco. Coco, I love that movie. Uh, that's like one of my favorite Disney movies. But it was so realistic after um after it, that he came back into the mortal world, or whatever. And they was all like, Dela Cruz killed my people. So everybody ended up hating Dela Cruz. I'm all like, this man was loved by hell of people. I'm like, how is it possible that just this little boy just claims? That oh this man killed my uncle so no that don't make oh his grandfather I mean his grandfather I'm like how does that make and he like, ended no, up with that the guitar work. in the end too right did he end up he with did the guitar in the end? yeah yes. that was crazy yeah come on like come on that's a little unrealistic come on now come on now now, now Coco's <laughs> with Coco's with Neil Long East Ray who's Coco Coco with uh, Coco uh, good good black joke I'm saying what's Coco with like what is Coco with is that, like a, is that a is that a black it's a black cartoon, no, right? It's a Mac no Mexican. Mexican. Yeah, yeah. They're Mexican. Guys, oh, let, me okay. remind, let me remind you now that this show, Lil Bruh had a dead dog running around with him the whole time. <laughs> he did. Well, the no, he was, time, he was a, um, he was no, he was a uh 
understand. I can't think of the Spanish word for it, but he was like a guy, a guy. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't dead. Yeah. He was bones. <laughs> no, he was He was not. surrounded by ghosts it, and the whole thing. And then he started to turn. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I'm going to take that word for it. It's a wild movie. It's, so, it's, it's a sad movie, John. Sad. Sad makes good movie. though. That's what it is. It's good though. It's I, really I know, good I know, though. I know, 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 um, Rabia said that me and Yahweh are just naming black movies. <laughs> That's, the case. That's all I watch. <laughs> and she said, "What about Oceans 11, 12, and 13? Absolutely unrealistic. I don't. You already know. Like that's that many people. Somebody snitching. Somebody's getting caught. It's going to be. It's going to be <laughs> and okay, Aisha, why is everybody trying to steal my number one? All right, so uh, we'll be on number two, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yahweh gave you number two, and Sister Rachel yep. gave you number two. Best man. Okay. So, Selima, uh, Selima, go ahead and run that number two off. Then go ahead and finish your number no, two. No, no, I didn't give my number two. Yahweh, well, you didn't either. Oh, did okay, you? okay. All right. <laughs> Ricky. Okay, Sister Ricky, what's your number two? Oh, my number two is um brown sugar. Mm-hmm. I did not like. I think that <laughs> yeah. the way that uh, relationship. Uh, this is it. They they broke up too cool for people to be cheating in love with best friends and stuff. Everybody's like, oh, okay. I I just. I was like, yeah, right. Yeah, they were a I terrible like couple. The yeah, they, they've been a te- they're a terrible movie couple just in general. Anytime in they general. Two get together, yeah. it's not a good time. Listen, I'm now, right. now, to now watch it. it was okay. Brown, Brown Sugar is with D'Angelo and Neil Long. Who's Brown Sugar with? Sonia Lathan, Tay Diggs, um... uh, John Witherspoon. <laughs> 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 uh... Mike Boris Cujo. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh about, yeah. Hip- yeah. about hip hop. I met this girl when I was this years old. Boom, got it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Lima, what you got? Number two. Number two. Numero dos. Uh, let's see. I have. Oh, oh. And I probably, listen, I probably only picked this one because I just got done watching all the Avengers over. But <laughs> I picked. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen, I picked. Captain America, Civil War, strictly because it was so. I should have picked all the superhero movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no so don't do that one. Listen, I'm just talking about the fact that how they had uh, Captain America like almost beat Iron Man. Like, like what? That doesn't even make sense. Iron Man it was like the greatest one out of all the Avengers. So how is Captain America even? And then this dude with his like metal arm. I'm like, dude, like. You got a metal you arm. That's it. You don't like, like Bucky. You don't like Bucky. Cool. Bucky, the one with the, the arm. You know, the one with the metal arm and stuff. He Who's cool, playing? but he ain't good enough to be being no Iron Man. <laughs> Stop playing. Stop playing Bucky, now. Bucky? now, now, now. So the uh, one with yeah, the I'm like arm. There. <laughs> I'm for real. Who is Bucky? He's Captain America. He's Captain America's homie. Homeboy. Yeah. Is he black? No, he's black. No. Okay. He has a metal sure arm see. with the long hair. I should have known Captain America. No but, black but, okay, but, but the ending. So you don't think the ending was good? They all locked up. They put them, they all, they locked them all up. And they, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That, that made me very upset. Okay. Simple as that. <laughs> I was not, I was not pleased with it at all. Unrealistic. Stop okay. It. Unrealistic. Iron Man's to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I just going in on, uh, oh, oh, Mr. William Lewis says Iron Man was a boss. Uh, I used to say Iron uh, Avengers, all of them, every last one. Y'all hating on Avengers? What's going on? I used to say every last one of them. Yeah, and then uh-uh. she said she was uh-uh. a fan of Mimi wasn't a fan of Brown Sugar. Boom. Oh, honorable, so you do our honorable mentions. My honorable mention is Hidden Figures. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> sister, sisters, sisters <laughs> down here. Don't, oh, don't even, don't even. Hidden don't Figures. Even. That's my, that's my. Hidden Figures was an amazing movie. movie that actually happened. How is it unrealistic? Right. Number two. <laughs> my, my oh, number hidden two. figures. Okay, okay, I know what movie that is. My number, my number two. Hidden figures was. <laughs> my no, number like, two is Love Jones. Love Jones is one of the most unrealistic love stories. This woman plays my man, come back with Bill Bellamy in the hearse, like she's stunning on him. And <laughs> they, 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 he's supposed to forgive. He's supposed to forgive him. Supposed to forgive him. Come on, what are you talking Jones. about? I, I love he's Love Jones. He did he have said, a hearse though. Okay, that's what I'm saying. She's this Bill Bellamy. And I mean, left him for Bill Bellamy, came back in front of him, and they all got back together because of poetry. I don't, it's unrealistic. All right, because <laughs> of poetry. Uh, don't say love language. Uh, Rabia <laughs> says, um, The Revenant, 
It's no way Leonardo DiCaprio should have survived that bear attack. Okay, that's a good one. All right, bitch. Yeah. Mimi says Josh is being sexist. I'm, no, I'm saying, I'm not talking about the real historic event. I'm talking about the, the way they portrayed it. Um, uh, William Lewis says Love Jones was interesting. Definitely was. Uh, I used to say Love Jones is definitely realistic. Actually, you know, thank you for defending that. The Avengers destroyed the entire city. You hate the Avengers. We get it. Okay, so Naomi oh and I wow. have different views on uh, the Love Jones. Number one, let's get into it. What you got, Yahweh? All right, so I got two honorable mentions for this because I know ain't nobody gonna mention that, neither one of these, but Creed too, because we know Michael B. Jones getting that ass whooped by uh <laughs> by baby by Lil Draco yeah, and right. Rosewood because that movie was uh, that movie was oh. over when Ben Graves got home. So like you, you, it, it was you, long you, over. You think it's unrealistic? That's like one of my favorite movies ever. Josh. Brother but was yeah, Brother movie. was based off a of true story, though, right? I think. Yeah, so. I think yeah. They, y'all, y'all, y'all ever heard of the black man that got hung? Got <laughs> it. He caught. He whistled for the horse. The horse came and got. <laughs> How you whistling when you hung? <laughs> <laughs> I love I'm him. How are you doing this? His neck kind of thick, though. You know. That's what I'm saying. Like he was, he was, he was yeah. holding it. In. He was like, he had time. Yeah. Yeah. His neck yeah. strong. <laughs> Black History Month, I might watch Rose with. First of all, but, but my number one sticking to that theme is Django. That movie was over when Brother Guy was in that shed. When he was in that shed, that okay, was that's a good one. That's a good one. So when he was hung upside down naked. Yeah, yeah it was over with. <laughs> it, it was done. <laughs> and he was in Texas. No boy, uh, you might as well wrap that up. Listen, I, I, I right. think was, I, I absolutely think that, um, and it wouldn't be right every time five we mentioned Django. Django is unrealistic because how many people was blowing up houses and riding off in the sunset? I don't know if that's necessarily, but I still love it. I still love it. Everything about it was unrealistic. Everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, Rabia says, so clearly Josh and Yahweh only watch urban and black films. Aisha says, definitely no rules with slander. Uh, William Lewis says, yes, sir. Grew up on BET and Bounce TV. Yeah, William Lewis said, <laughs> like, TV. He need milk for the legs. <laughs> uh, Jamal, said Jamal, such a Michael B. A Jordanator. Rosewood is a true story. Exactly, y'all mad at me for hidden figures. Rosewood is loosely uh, based off of a true story. <laughs> it was based off of true events. Exactly. Yeah. Right, right. They they based off of true, true events. That means that they embellished a little bit. That's the word. That keyword right. right there. Sister Mariah says, "Pretty women." I mean, pretty woman. Um, all right, boom. All right, let's go. Since we're kid, what you got? Number one. I'm surprised nobody said Titanic because ain't no way Rose would have scoot over. Jack, that, that, that. Oh, yeah, that's me. 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 Yeah, Instead of leaving with the rich man, I, I think that's unrealistic too. When she stayed on the boat, when they was all singing, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Really too. But you never know. Uh-huh. Sometimes you never know. But it's, it's more right. realistic than Jamie Foxx shooting uh, <laughs> Candy in the, in the face and getting away with it. I mean, hitting him. I mean, hitting. I mean, he hitting turns. Listen, Yahweh, I love Django, so it, it's really saying, say goodbye, of course. Miss whatever her name is. Goodbye, Miss whatever your name is. Shot it gone. Uh, Damn, exactly. Right? That's how you gonna do it. Uh, w- William Lewis said, "Titanically, Titanic over." Roman, romantic but great film, great film, realistic deal. Um, Naima says something oh, wrong. No way they should have been cool after she took her whole fiance. It's on Netflix if you haven't seen it. Thank you, uh, Naima, for saying that because nobody knows what something borrowed is. <laughs> Mimi said facts of Rakia. Something said, is. Every Adam Sandler movie in history, even though he loves, it. I love except, Adam Sandler movies. Except I love Adam Waterboy. Okay, Waterboy I'm one of those people. Okay, Waterboy so Waterboy what you got for number absolutely one? Absolutely realistic. Number one, Proud Mary. For one, I just like the movie. For two, that last ending scene when she was up in there shooting at all those men, I'm like, how did you get touched not one time, sis? What's, you was okay, not that good. What's Proud Mary? What's Proud Mary? What's Proud Mary? With uh, Taraji P. Henson. Yeah. It was like this, like, supposed to be like this tight ass whatever. That's what I'm saying. I've never seen one. it. I've never seen Proud Mary. I've never seen Proud Mary. Man, Taraji P. Henson being a hitman. Mm. All of John Wick had unrealistic endings. Yeah. Great movie. Of course, of course, of course. But yeah, ain't no way. I can't wait to hear Josh's number one because I feel like he's going to say like pride or something. 
like, are these are these brothers really He's about to say Did they really? Yeah. How? Like, I was seeing a black swim team. I mean, is it three feet or is it ten feet? What's the what's the water? Here we go. Here we go. I should, I opened up the floodgates. I shouldn't even have said nothing. Yeah, uh, brother. Josh about to say roots. Exactly. I'm like, <laughs> I'm talking about that. William Lewis says he's learning movies as we talk for those who, um, the ones he hasn't watched. Thank you for watching, sir. All right. My number one is The Notebook. It's my favorite romantic movie of all time. It's unrealistic. It's unrealistic, Ow. man. Wait a second. <laughs> There's no Please. way. But you do don't know. talk about the notebook. Don't talk about the notebook. She wouldn't Not have Noah. chose. She wouldn't have chose Noah over the over the rich man who they, they, at, at the, with all that money and why all not? That. And by the time by, when she had dementia, he would have been loved. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just like <laughs> she. She was. She was. Like, she <laughs> was not gonna do that. We're I'm not just gonna saying. Do that one. It no. gives it gives people hope, but the average woman is gonna choose that rich man. This man had. They came from cotton money. Like all, like all that money they had, yeah. they they would she would have just went with the dude with the beard. Like with all due respect to uh, Noah, Noah was cool. I like Noah, but it's like no, she wouldn't have, she wouldn't have been with him. Stop. We're not even gonna and, do that. And the fact that they, that they like simultaneously passed together, like they just that that part. The way that he loved her though, he stayed by her side through things. Stop playing with me. I y'all. love you. We're not gonna talk with. I'm not. I'm not talking. He, I mean, <laughs> if she would have let me, if, he, if she would have let me for some rich dude, I'm over with. But say, yeah. uh, nah, it's over uh, with. Rabia says taking one, he two, built three. A home hey, Rabia, let me tell you that's something. A, he built, a, and that's what we call a new fool. He built a home for her. Rabia. Rabia, let me tell you something. They're going to take you. Period. The bottom line. This is that taking one is good, not two and three. Um, Naima says yes. It's uh, Josh, super unrealistic. Mimi said women do it all the time. Y'all don't know about true love. Oh goodness. Uh, Mimi said. I mean, Khadija hates Thank the you, fish. Hills have eyes. Hills have eyes. I don't know what that is. Or Rabia, tell me what that's about. And Mimi said she's with the Notebook. No Notebooks. Like, I, notebook is my favorite. It's another scary movie. movie. Of all not, time, because you wouldn't be saying what you would be saying if it was. It's a fantasy. No. It's a fairy tale. It's not real. It's, not, it's real love. That is true. It's I, like I, That's I, true. I, I it is. It was like it's that. a girl like when Josh put up his house on the thing, she gonna faint and be like, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like whatever, you know what I'm saying? And um, we don't you know one man out here who build a no house. Because you don't know how, don't mean that it's other. I don't want to know how to build no <laughs> house. Maybe, maybe says all Why the not? Fast and the Furious. William Lewis says high step. All the fast and all of them. <laughs> um, William Wallace says high step, high style one and two. The brother going deep, but the high style, I don't know what that is. It's like some prison <laughs> movies. All right, let's go. <laughs> Top five seasons. Oh, real Top quick, the dude who said something about the movie high style, don't you know it originally started off as an actual documentary? So that's really based on um, actual events, but they started to get harassed and threatened. So they changed it from a documentary to a movie. So you have to go watch. They tried to. Sugarcoated with Hostel Two, but Hostel One was low key a, a true story. But all right, I'm listening. But what is, ho- what is Hostel? <laughs> is it about prison? What is it about? I don't know what that is. No, it's about people who go overseas to just like um, vacate, like college students and stuff. But they kidnap people, like human trafficking, but not for like sex. It's like uh, Josh, they put them in like these warehouses. The you ever see Slow on the Bluff, Josh? It's <laughs> yes, <that's laughs> okay, like I got it. Where they. They they bid to kill people in these like abandoned warehouses. Just feel mm, okay. like this, this elite club of people. They have like this hound tattoo, and they just pretty much kidnap Americans and bid them off. And you can torture them however you want. Slavery. Yeah. Oh my Sorry, god! Gosh. I'm gonna say it sounds like uh, squid, uh, squid, uh, squid games. I'm like, this is getting. This is getting... <laughs> Hold up. Uh, <laughs> Rabia says it's, it's scary, it's crazy. Mimi says she needs to find that. She never heard of it. Uh, William Lewis says, okay, yes, he's knowing. Uh, he knows about that. And then Naima says it's a nasty, scary movie. Okay, well, I'm probably going to catch up. All right, Salima, what do you have for number five top TV sitcom dads? All right, let me go to my list again. One moment. Okay, while well, you're going to your list, <laughs> Rabia said don't go to Europe, but 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 she lived 20 minutes from East St. Louis. Girl, ain't nobody, you scared of Europe. I'm scared of East St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying, but for real. That's weird. I'm just saying, but, um, don't go to Europe. Like East St. Louis ain't got drive-bys every day. Facts. But I got it. All right. So my first one is my wife and kids. And the only reason I'm picking that one is because I just think um the Wayne brothers are so funny. You know what I'm saying? And I just like I just like this. I just like the show. So that's the only reason I'm picking that one, honestly. That's okay. it. 
But who is he? Like, who is he? I know it's Damon Wayne's. Like, what's he has a name? Just like is it, that's, I think that's what his name. Oh, just Damon Wayne's. Just his name. Uh, uh, Michael Kyle. <laughs> Michael Kyle. Michael Kyle. Michael Kyle. Michael Kyle. What's the other one? The son. There's only one dad on there. Yeah, there's only one dad. No, I'm talking about what, but I'm talking about another Wayne though. Stop playing with me. <laughs> it's another Wayne on the show. Oh. He's supposed to be the son. It was one of the Wayne brothers. No, he's no, like they, he's like they like they they black play cousin. You talking about what's his name? You talking no, about Junior? I he was oh, okay, he's not, like a he's play cousin. The, he is. Oh, he just okay. got a big well, ass head like the rest of them. Why don't you learn okay. about what you say before you put it on the thing? All I right. just told you why I picked it because oh, I like the show. That's it. Oh, they said uh, Damien, Damien and Marlon. Okay, can you repeat the category, please? Top five TV sitcom dads. And Rabia said Julius. Julius, but I mean, Julius is a good father. All right, since we're kid, what you got for number five? Number five, I have Philip Banks from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I thought that he was a good dad. Although he played Fresh Prince's uncle, he was still the dad to Hillary and um, Ashley and Carlton. He was a good dad. <laughs> first thing yeah, first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. Yeah, right, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Yahweh, what you got, number five? I got Bob Saget just because this we should have him on the list tonight, tonight. So I just got him on the list. Thank you for just saying Bob Saget, Yahweh, my goodness. I forgot his name on the show. <laughs> I forgot his name on Full House. Danny Tanner. There we go. Danny okay. Tanner. Yeah, Danny from Tanner. Full House. Full House. Yeah. Okay. okay. I was Mimi, Mimi said second. not the dad from BMF. The fact that y'all hate the dad from BMF. He's, a, he's the excellent dad. I love <laughs> the dad from BMF. I don't know where I'm trolling, him. Josh. No, he's not. He a sucker. Talk about him. Nah, why y'all mad that he trying to hold his family together? Like, why y'all mad? Man, I'll, I'll live on the streets before I take drill money. You a, you a new fool, too. <laughs> like, oh, boy. Y'all mad at the dad. Lights got to stay <laughs> on. Um, William Lewis says, awful Officer Carol from Family Man. Oh, Officer Carl. Carl. Hey, Carl Winslow from Family Man. You call him Carol? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny Tan is a good one. Uncle Phil for sure. Everybody's naming him. Like you already know that's my number one. All right, my number five. I'm going with uh, Ray from Sister Sister. He's a dad of. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, that's count, Josh. You got somebody from Sister Sister. The because I, I, I didn't think about I didn't think about TV dads who I really liked. I like the okay. fact that he. I like. I I don't like. It's a certain type of dad. I can't like Julius. Like, that's not my kind of like, I don't want to see you yelling, complaining, all mad, all time. Yeah, that, that, that cheap daddy. <laughs> I feel that. I feel yeah, that. yeah, like Ray, Ray, Ray was cool. Like, he was nice when I had the twins. He was always yelling at Roger, like, Roger, you know, come on, Roger. Like, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I like Ray. He was, he was good. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Mimi said, Josh is what's gotten into you. Because I like Ray. <laughs> 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 he's really good. He's, I'm like, that's a good of a dad. I'm like, all right, I can see myself being like that. Mimi said Julius is like is like your real daddy. I'm aware of what Julius is like. Mimi. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, what you got, Saliva? Okay, my number four is okay. It's that's all Raven's dad. I forgot what his name is though. But oh, nobody, really. <laughs> the reason, no, stop. He's the re- oh, I thought you was gonna go on me. Okay, <laughs> I'll be prepared. I have to. Anyway, okay. but no, because I thought, because, you know, Spawn, he was funny. Then he had his, you know, he had his own restaurant. He had his stuff together, you know what I'm saying? Took care of his student. Even when the mama left, left, he still took care of his babies. And that's what I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Making sure they made, made, um, made it to college. When did the mom, when did the mama leave? Like, when she went to work? She left. Or she... No, she had, the mom went to college. Because of Corey in the house. Corey in the house. No, not in oh. Corey in the house. In, oh, she uh, divorced, she divorced them? She left. No, she went off to, they made it like she went off to college. She ended up leaving the show, but they made it like she went off to college and she was trying to finish college or something like that. Damn, how old was she? She gonna find a community college? No uh, Rabia, Rabia said Julius <laughs> has two jobs and take care of his family. I'm aware of what Julius is. Um, <laughs> William Lewis said, that's on Raven's dad. Everybody said Mr. Baxter. And Mimi said, Mr. Josh Baxter, yeah. I love that's on Raven. You know, magic pills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves that's on uh, Raven. Come on. Listen, so, 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 so as soon as Raven starts making that face, you know it's about to be some imagination spells or something. All right, this is Rakia. What you got? Number four. Number four, I have Frank. That's Moesha's dad. Hell no. Nah, he Frank. was a terrible father. <laughs> <laughs> he was a terrible father. Moesha was a step away from the pole. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the he tried to be fair. Moesha was just scandalous. I mean, well, that's true, too. Now, mm-hmm. we got we to gotta yeah. think about the other side now. Moesha, your daughter yeah. kept out. She snuck out the window every night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yahweh, what you got number four? She said she snuck out the window every night. I got Hank Hill 
from King of the Hill. King of the Hill. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Hank Hill is the realest dad. Like he's actually like a, a, a realistic father. Like I feel like there's dad. dads in Texas that are just like him. Yeah, I feel like there's dads down the street from my house that's just like him. That's a good. That's a good like, one. That's a good one. He's a good dad. And and um, what's the what's the what's the, the Asian man uh, next to him? Uh, they always say Kasana Wayne. Um, oh my god, his friend, his yeah. friends yeah, next door neighbor. The girl, yeah, the girl our Chinese like, restaurant sponsorship. I'm, I'm just saying though, what's that girl? We, we ain't got that Pan Express sponsorship. <laughs> you know the people on King of the Hill. Anyway, it's another dad on King of the Hill. It's that next door neighbor. I can't think of his Wong, name. Wong, Wong, Wong. <laughs> okay, they just name the Asian people. All right, no, for real, is that okay? Oh, it's one. It's one. All right. Yes. All right, that's a good one. All right, boom. Wait, my number four, Ray Romano, Everybody Loves Raymond. You already know what it is. I don't know if y'all watched oh, that. Oh, my God, you? Yes. But oh, it's, God, it's, I, I learned so much about um, after school stuff, going to your children's games. All the stuff you got to do is just be like a dad. It's like, I didn't know that, what it took to be a dad from that level, but it's pretty good. He did a good job at it. All right, number three. Oh, Mimi said Frank and D were so annoying. Okay, let's go. Number three, top five TV sitcom dads, Salima. Why are you saying my name like that? But well, I was gonna say Salima. Like, is it Salima? Right? Yes. Yes. Is Salima. Salima. Is Salima? Is Salima? Yes. Well, I didn't know. God damn. How long have you known me, Josh? Come on now. That's saying. not okay. That's Salima. not okay. What is I'm like Joshua? Joke. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> right now, your mama named me Number three, what you got? Top five TV dads. Um, I got Boy Meets World. I really liked him as a dad. I think he was real with his children. You know what I'm saying? He was involved in their lives. You know what I'm saying? I think you know, and he when he put it on him, put it on them when they you know when they needed that little you know extra strictness. You know what I'm saying? I definitely he you know let them learn life experience and stuff. And he, he kept it real. I like that. Okay. Definitely Boy Meets World. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I, I didn't expect you to say Boy Meets World. I, I've never heard. That's the first time from Top 5. That's a good one. All right. Um, Rabia says James Evans. Rabia, you're just naming black dads at this point. <laughs> um, James Evans was a good dad, though. I ain't going yeah. to I mean, the brother had to, he fought against the warlords. Listen, little Daryl said, brother man. He had to raise a child with Florida Evans, but that's a whole other <laughs> discussion for another day. Florida was a good mama, too, though. Yeah, Florida. Shout out to Florida Evans, and shout out to... Um, Thelma for being fine. All right, let's go. So, Rakia, what you got, number three? Cliff Hustable. Okay. Oh, Clark. He flips. He's yeah. definitely on my list. Yes. Yeah. I think he was TV's dad for years, for decades. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay, let's go. Um, Yahweh, what you got, number three? Number three, I have Uncle Phil. Okay, okay. Uncle Phil, Uncle Phil, he was a cool, he was a cool dad. He was a, um, he was a punk ass uncle, but he was a cool dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. All right, listen, I mean, you can't go wrong with Uncle Phil. I, I, once again, him, him busting. Once I saw the episode of him, uh, where they went to flashbacks of how the pool party, I never liked Uncle Phil after that when they when he was being mean. Wait, what happened? Pool party. When they had the pool party and he was he busted the. Uh, the, the the inflatable things they had to go to court now y'all remember that no y'all remember the pool party episode I remember I remember wholeheartedly when he when he popped Carlton's what's that yeah yeah that's what I'm saying like he was like I was like he Yo, was just pops, like, you bust my floaty like, yeah yeah, like, yeah like, that was, that exactly part, I, I remember it, baby. he was always yelling I'm like bro you you gotta just calm down William <laughs> William Moon says Ike wow. Turner Big Daddy has, okay brother okay uh, little Daryl says Al Bundy thank you for Al Bundy that's a good one all right my number three hey, no, now I was talking about Al Bundy, now I turn. Okay, listen. Oh, my that's why I said I turn. I'm going to say, wait, what? Oh, I turn. Uh, he could have been a good dad, just a horrible husband. Uh, Tim, Ike Jr. He, he did pull up on Ike Jr. Uh, Tim, the two-man Taylor, home improvement. Ho, ho, ho. Got a show on one side of that, in the studio, by the garage. Come take care of the family. I mean, I mean, he was, he was, a, he was a great dad. All right. I forgot all about him. I forgot all about home improvement. Uh, William Lewis says Frankie Lyman. Okay, the brother's name is Black Actors. Um, Mimi says Frank. Uh, <laughs> He's just being funny. <laughs> Frankie Lyman. Mimi says Josh hates discipline. I mean, you gotta know. Like, I just, I like the, I like the more cool dads. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like the busting the, the thing and all that. What's we'll it called that Frankie Lyman play? Oh, <laughs> Frankie Lyman. Ain't that the dude from Why the Fools Fall in Love? Yes. Apparently, Rabia, Rabia, Rabia probably thinks he played on Good Times so because she loves Good Times. <laughs> <laughs> 
She just keeps naming black gas. I mean, she said the Jeffersons. She said uh, Sanford and Son. Or be oh, stop naming just, just naming that type of stuff. All right, number two. Like, there's something wrong with that. Well, yeah. saying Sanford. Oh, St. Louis. Saying, saying all black, uh, black fathers. No, I'm just That's saying, Saint, saying St. Louis people can, but you don't have to be George Jefferson. I see how St. Louis people gonna stick together. Number two, what I you got? St. Louis, stop playing with me. Anyway, where, where you from? Got, where you from then? Got... You're not from St. Louis. I'm not gonna play with you. We done this already <laughs> on this channel, Joshua. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you my number two. My number okay. two. <laughs> my number two is Fresh Prince. It's because of the simple fact that I did like Uncle Phil, like him being a father figure to Will, for one. Like, to think is like, that's one of the hardest things for like a man to take on, like somebody else's child, you know, taking care of him. Like, he still treated him, gave him the same stuff that, you know, he gave his children pretty, not not exactly, but on a certain extent, he definitely took care of Will, you know what I'm saying? Was that father figure to him. And then also, like I said, his children, he had all his children, you know, together, you know, look, he had, they were straight. So I think he was a good dad, you know. Like, I don't know that pool party thing, so, you know. Man, shout out to Uncle Phil for um, taking care of Nikki, even in his 50s. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he had Nikki when he was, like, 55. Still took care of him. Um, Rabia said, Rabia seems to think she's from uh, D.C. Rabia, you was in St. Louis the majority of your life. That's where you're from. Um, little Daryl says, go cool. Thank you, Daryl, for saying go cool. <laughs> Josh, you just uh, making people from St. Louis. <laughs> they, that, bro, she, they, she live in St. Louis now. Selena used to live in St. Louis. That's where y'all from. I'm just going to say where you from. Rakia, what you got? Sister Rakia, what you got number two? My number two and my number one is like the perfect combination of my dad. Um, but for number two, I have Julius from Everybody Hates Chris. My daddy is a stickler <laughs> for cash. Oh, he got it, but he ain't going to give it. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's Julius. a good one. Everybody loves Julius. Shout out to everybody loves Julius, but, but hating Chris at the same time. William Lewis says Trunks, and Naima says she agrees. Salima. All right. Uh, Yahweh, what you got, number two? I got the dad from that 70s show. I forgot his name, but he was Red Foreman? Yeah, man. Red was You love the mean dad. He's mean as hell. He was hilarious. <laughs> Why you be mean to like, 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 Come on, now. You love the mean dad. Y'all love mean dads, bro. Like, I just don't get it. All right. But Red Foreman, I mean, he's a good dad, but he just mean. Uh, Rabia he was says funny, Julius, and he she was hilarious. Black Fist. Rabia said any, um, she look, Rabia says any, the black and the bear, the sweet of the juice. Shout out to all the brothers is, is making it through, okay? Lil Daryl says David. Wait, what? Doctor, I don't want to butcher that name, but from Californication. I want to say <laughs> Dr. Benny. All right, but Californication. I never seen Californication, Lil Daryl, so I can't vouch for that. All right, my number two, Dan Connor. Roseanne, what we talking about? He was a good father. He held it down. He held it down. I never watched a show like that. I never watched Roseanne. It's a good show. Dan was a good dad. I watched it. I just never watched it for real. Okay, okay. All right, number one. <laughs> what you got? Salima. <laughs> okay, I have, of course, Bill Cosby. Just because he, for me, he was like the face of like all of the sitcom, you know, dads, for real, for real. You know, he had his children together, you know. He had his stuff together at the end of the day. You know, you know his children like to do little things, but every child does that. But I'm like, I feel like he was a great father. So, like I said, he was the face for me. Shout out to um, Salima's uh, TV dad. Um, Khadija Kareem says she agrees with you. Dan was a good dad. Oh, look, at, I know. Um, Michael uh, William Lewis says Michael J. White is his uncle. Um, Lil Daryl says Bill Cosby from Ghost Dad. And, <laughs> and and Rabia wants to know, do I want a white father because I have a white list? And you mad. Like, my God. All right, let's go. Uh, Sister Rakia, what you got for number one? I have James Evans, man. I feel like that was a stand-up dude. He was really strict, though, but he was about his business and his family and his children. And I feel like Society would be a whole lot better if a lot of fathers were a little bit more like James Evans. And he reminds me so much of my dad. I hated it as a child, but I get it now. Um, you got to be stand yeah, up in the green and green, too. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, you out here hanging with the warlord, Sister Ricky? You out here For here? real. Nah, that's true, though. He had to raise him the way he did. Yeah. Otherwise, JJ would have been uh, throwing up the forks. <laughs> <laughs> <So, laughs> it would have been over. Yeah. JJ would have been GD. Uh, um, exactly. Oh. Rabia says, uh, Heathcliff Huxable. Aisha says, Heathcliff Huxable. Uh, little Daryl, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for you right now. Talk about Wesley Snipes right there. All right, let's go. Um, Yahweh, what you got? Number one, I got Bill Cosby, nasty ass. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, he started selling pudding pops and Jello. <laughs> uh, yep, yep. <laughs> I had to say that boy's stuff. I got an old pill Cosby. Okay, uh, Naima said. <laughs> Naima said, "Clee Flexible" is definitely number one. And, 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 and he was he he disciplined his children in a funny way, so I thought that was cool too. Exactly. Um, the, my favorite episode, I probably the um Vanessa drinking game. Uh, Heathcliff, <laughs> the Heathcliff. Uh, I mean, the uh, Theo, uh, Miss Briswold episode. It's, it's the, the the first earlier seasons was amazing. Last yeah, season, okay. oh, you didn't like the, you didn't like the later years. No, I like no Charmaine and all of that. You like when Charmaine joined? No, no. <laughs> once, once, they, once they started getting, once Rudy went to college and stuff, I was like, all right, what's going on? Like, how old are they? <laughs> all, right. all right, my number one. I'm surprised nobody said it, but Phil Dunphy from Modern Family. Y'all don't think he's a good TV dad? He's I'm the best. Watch that show, Josh. Y'all yeah, watch Modern Family? Nah. I'm seeing Akia. 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 I don't even know what that is. What is that? Modern <laughs> Family. Well, since we're, when you get when you get in front of your TV, go type Modern Family and it'll come right up. <laughs> Phil Dunphy is good. Uh, Lil Daryl says Sinbad from a different world. Thank you for that. Uh, Lil Daryl should be saying stuff. Exactly. Naima said Phil was <laughs> hilarious. I used to say that might be my favorite comment. I like what he didn't comment. Yes, and <laughs> Mimi said to me, Black. I, I, I mean, I don't know what y'all want me to say. I, I get. I told y'all, Ray from Sister Sister. I mean, I had to be realistic with my list. All right, uh, Salima, can you? Um, um, Aisha says she loves that, and Little Daryl says I see why you are. You do a whole lot of white family. Thank you, Little Daryl. Just be, this, niggas, niggas love going to Africa <laughs> when they get older and they just return pro black. Boy, yo, <laughs> Little Daryl be trolling and roasting you the whole damn show. He went to high school and the man never was acting black like this. Now he go to Africa. Now he just uh, Malcolm X over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The uh, press of pan, pan, pan Africanism or whatever. A, exactly. Oh, now boy, he's brother like, turned into Umar Johnson. Exactly. Age back. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, um, Salima, give us your list. Uh, close us out with that five through one, real quick, for uh, TV dance songs. TV dance songs? What? I mean, uh, top dance songs. Oh my god, I got it wrong. We are, we already did ours. Just run them off. Oh run them god, off. Let me start. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to my list so y'all can't see my face. Okay. So, um, first one is Jerk. Just because I've been here and seen it all over TikTok, so now it's in my head again. Walk it out, most definitely. Was one oh, of the best. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm trying to decide. I had like I couldn't decide between Cat Daddy and Stanky Leg for my number three, so I'm just saying both right now. Oh, you shouldn't have chosen either one of those. No, nah, you know what? Stanky, 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 wait a second, wait a second. When Stanky Leg was saying, <laughs> everybody was hitting the Stanky Leg, but Cat nah, Daddy was like, <laughs> I, I like, I like okay. them better when they did the um, what was the dancing was lit Hit them with the flex. Look, that's that's, that's the one of the boys from Texas. Y'all that's the song. Uh, that song was lame, though. That song was lame. But uh, my last uh, two uh, is last um, Soldier uh, Soul Boy Tone. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, Link with the Rock with, of course. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, my okay. mom used to ride the bus. When I tell you, she used to drive the school bus for like the junior high school ends. Man, come on the bus. If that song came on, everybody was lit. I was like seven, eight years old. Like, oh my God, this is so lit. But yes, it was hella dope. I'm trying to tell you, that song was always, no matter where it was played, it could be played right now. Everybody's going to go on that dance floor and hit that lean with it, rock with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, now, what is this lean with it, rock with it? What is this? Joshua, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm just trying to figure out. Wait, I wait, wait. Cut, so I'm looking for some blackhead. Yup, in my way. <laughs> That's no, not I'm right. Saying, but but how you do you could definitely do that. That used to be my song, man. I ain't I'm saying, it. but I'm saying, but how do you do it? You already did it for you. So you, you lean, and then you snap. It's like kind of like it's kind of like what Soulja Boy was doing, Josh. See, she kind of doing it, but it, it, I can't <laughs> do it. I'm in a I'm in a chair right now. You want me watch to fall on my chair? Hey, hey, Josh, watch watch it. It. Crank it, Josh. One time, one time, Josh, crank it. I'm just saying because I'm saying you gotta throw it up, like. It is no <laughs> <throw it> <laughs> Listen, I'm not here for y'all amusing me. Oh, I'm gonna do it so bad, but I ain't gonna do it. Don't get listen. that side out of me. No, <laughs> okay, all right, listen. Salima, can you please say goodbye to everybody, please? All right, you guys. I would like to say peace and blessings to everyone, and I would like to say adios. My so, amigas, sister, you can't have no monologue. You can't, you can't 30 okay. minutes. I'm just kidding. All right, I said I'm making my family. I love you guys.
Okay, thank you. Thank you, Salima. And for always trying to slide your Spanish in there. All right, so Rakia, can you please say goodbye to everybody? Yeah, man. Peace, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless y'all and good night. Roll tide. Boom. All right. Yahweh, can you please? You, Yahweh, you're a Marvin C today. Uh, what's the I'm word? I'm a Marvin C. All right, look, brothers and sisters, what we need in this world is unity. <laughs> Spell it with me. U N I T Y. You and I see why. I don't see color. Don't I don't do see that. creed. I don't see nothing. That we, <laughs> is that, is that, that's a good Marvin impersonation, right? That's that's that's, that's pretty Marvin like. That's pretty Marvin like. Oh, All right, there we no, go. Now let's go Yahweh like. I'm ready to go to bed. So I'm gonna see y'all Brian, on the next one. And, th and thank everybody who's watching. I can't wait to put this on YouTube. Thank all of you all. Thank little Daryl for trolling. Thank William Lewis for being in there. Um, uh, Rabia stayed the whole time uh, tonight. Shout out to Aisha. Um, everybody who's watching in the comments, can't wait to put this on YouTube. Uh, this is Joshua Linda Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. Just like that. All right. Now I got <laughs> to lean with a rock with it all on my story today. <laughs>